Hi, I'm Matilda. Reese and I are going to be attempting to build a row cover today. So um, we're using insect netting because when we briefly planted some stuff in summer um, last year, we it was just a bee, a pollinator mix of seeds and it had radishes in it and every single radish leaf got eaten. So preemptively, we wanna make a row cover for at least one bed that we're gonna be putting brassicas in um, this season, late obviously, but oh well. Um, and we'll see if that makes a difference with the, we've got a few kales and a cauliflower or two out of the um, netting and we'll see if it makes a difference for this season and I'm sure it'll make a difference over the spring and summer gardening season but yeah so what we've got is oh, a big huge 100 meter roll of insect netting some poly pipe 25 mil poly pipe which I saw online somewhere that it was um, rigid enough to hold itself up and then we've got what do we get 600 mil um, rebar to act as stakes so they'll go about halfway in the ground and then the poly pipe will slip onto them um, and yeah that's what we're planning on doing um, we're gonna see how it goes and how the netting stays up on the hoops um, and whether we need pegs or some sort of clip or just um, rocks on the end to hold it down so yeah, here we go. So this is what the mesh looks like. It's just a fine weave and it'll stop, um, stop all the big bugs. It's not gonna stop like aphids and mites and things, but um, we just had such a problem with caterpillars with our radishes in that little patch, so. This will definitely stop the butterflies getting in and laying their eggs. And it will stop the birds too. It's a little bit later in the day because my battery died but I just thought I would go over what we did with the beds with the road covers so we had three three things we had um, this poly pipe this netting and we had um, the 600 mil lengths of rebar which is just it's for concrete but we wanted them as um, like pegs to slip the poly pipe over. So this netting is 2.8 meters wide um, or 2.87 meters wide. And so we decided we would cut the poly pipe to um, 2.4, just to give us a little bit on either side for, so that we can like put some rocks or sticks or something in there to hold it down so it doesn't blow away 
um, I've just put a little bit of dirt in the ends to hold the ends down. But yeah, so we ended up the pegs pegs are here and so they're about halfway down in the ground and then we've just put them over um, the pegs are about a, uh, a meter apart um, our beds are pretty narrow so that works really well if if they were and these the hoops are quite tall so if we had wider beds we could easily do the same with the same length um, poly pipe and netting but the hoops would just be a bit lower and wider which would be fine these are going to be taller than we're going to need for anything so yeah so we've our beds are about um an eight, eight and a half meters long so we decided five hoops um, which makes them like just under two meters apart from each other. I think you could probably do them further than that, but uh, we didn't want to take the risk and then have to redo it. But actually the whole process of the first one, which was when we were figuring out how to do it, only took us about 45 minutes from going, this is what we're going to do. And that was because the first two we didn't know what width we wanted the pegs apart, so we ended up pulling them pegs up a bunch of times. And then the second one took us maybe 25 minutes, half an hour. So yeah, super easy. And yeah, I'm hoping that it'll save us a lot of uh, bug damage, especially in spring and summer when there's lots of butterflies and caterpillars and all that stuff. Yeah, thanks for watching.